Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Our Mox Masters Tournament is this Saturday. Sign up and compete for $2,000 in prizes and points towards our Invitational this coming October. Tickets sell out, so be sure to grab yours right away. We have a new Patreon tier, Mox Ruby. If you want to play Legacy and be on the channel, sign up for this new tier. Spots are limited, so grab one while it's there. We also have some Mox Pearl slots available. Show off your skill to the world or prove that your spicy build can compete. If you want to be on a CDH episode, sign up today. Patrons get access to all kinds of other perks as well. Support is as little as $3 and you get tons of benefits in return. Go to patreon.com slash playingwithpowermtg and see if there's a tier for you. Welcome to the lightning round. Tonight we have two separate games for you with different commanders firing off in quick fashion. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First we have Damien piloting Najila the Blade Blossom. This deck contains all the best combos in the format as well as one card combos with Najila such as Derevi and Grim Hireling. Damien's opening hand contains a Final Fortune, Fierce Guardianship, Volcanic Island, Windswept Teeth, Birds of Paradise, Scalding Tarn, and his London Mulligan is a Wooded Foothills. Next, we have Alan pounding the partner pair of Malcolm Keenide Navigator and Vile Smasher the Fierce. This deck seeks to land a number of different combos, including Glinthorn, Breach, Brain Freeze, and Thoracle. Alan's opening hand contains a Felwar Stone, City of Brass, Rite of Flame, Simeon Spirit Guide, Swan Song, Talisman of Indulgence, and a Mox Amber. After that, we have Isaac pounding Myrel, Shield of Argive. This is a hard stacks deck that tries to win through Murel's ability along with an army of soldier tokens. Isaac's opening hand contains a Strip Mine, two Snow-Covered Plains, Suppression Field, Sphere of Resistance, and his London Mulligans are Mirror Entity and Skrell of Deflector Might. Finally, we have Jay, pounding the partner pair of Krark the Thumbless and Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. This deck seeks to use Krark as a value engine while still closing out the game with all of the classic Grixis lines. Jay's opening hand contains a Culling the Weak, Soul Ring, Dark Ritual, Gemstone Caverns, Misty Rainforest, Wooded Foothills, and a Tavern Scoundrel. Without further ado, let's kick off this eerily eager, easygoing epitome of evolution. Damien had the most unique life counter at the table and gets to start us off. But Jay has a pregame action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Wooded Foothills. Damien draws a card for turn and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts up Birds of Paradise. He passes the turn to Alan. Alan draws and plays a City of Brass. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red to cast Rite of Flame, adding two more red. He taps a City of Brass to help cast his commander, Malcolm, keen eyed Navigator. He casts a Mox Amber. All through, he ships the turn to Isaac. Isaac draws and plays a Snow Covered Plains. He gives the turn to Jay. Jay draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts Frantic Surge. He draws two, discards two, then untaps two lands. He casts his commander, Krark the Thumbless. Jay ends his turn. Damien draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts his commander, Najila the Blade Blossom. He casts an Elves of Deep Shadow. He passes the turn. Alan draws and moves to combat. He attacks Jay with Malcolm. Jay takes the hit, Malcolm triggers, and Alan creates a treasure. In his second main phase, he taps the City of Brass to help cast a Felwar Stone. He gives the turn to Isaac. Isaac draws and plays a Snow Covered Plains. Wanting to slow the game down, he casts Suppression Field. He passes the turn to Jay. During his upkeep, Jay casts Mystical Tutor. Quirk triggers, he loses the flip, and returns Mystical Tutor back to his hand. Not to be deterred, he recasts Mystical Tutor. Kirk triggers, Jay loses the flip again, pouncing Tutor. He draws and plays a Blood Crypt, into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Tavern Scoundrel. All through, he ships the turn to Damien. Damien draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He moves the combat and attacks Alan with Najila. Najila triggers and he creates a 1-1 Warrior tapped at attacking Alan. Alan takes the hit and Damien passes the turn. Alan draws and moves the combat. He attacks Jay with Malcolm. Jay takes the hit, Malcolm triggers, and Alan creates a treasure. In his second main phase, he casts Talisman of Indulgence. All through, he gives the turn to Isaac. Isaac draws and plays a Strip Mine. He casts a Strict Proctor. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Jay casts Mystical Tutor. Kirk triggers, he wins the flip this time, copying Mystical Tutor. Tavern Scoundrel triggers, and he creates two treasures. He then fetches up a Demonic Tutor onto the top of his library. He draws and casts Dark Ritual. Kirk triggers, he loses the flip, bouncing it back to his hand. He shows Krark who's boss and casts Dark Ritual again. Krark triggers, he wins the flip, copying Dark Ritual. Tavern Scoundrel triggers and he creates two treasures. Then both Dark Rituals resolve and Jay adds six black. He casts Demonic Tutor. Krark triggers, he loses the flip, bouncing it back to his hand. He recasts Demonic Tutor. Krark triggers, he wins the flip this time, copying Demonic Tutor. Tavern Scoundrel triggers and he creates two treasures. Then both Demonic Tutors resolve and he fetches up two cards into his hand. He casts Harmonic Prodigy. He casts Ad Nauseum and Krark triggers twice. In response, Damien casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering the original Ad Nauseum. Then Jay wins the first Krark trigger flip, creating a copy of Ad Nauseum. Tavern Scoundrel triggers, and in response, Alan casts his own Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering the copy of Ad Nauseum. Then Jay creates two treasures through Scoundrel. His last Krark trigger resolves, he flips, 
and loses. Kirk gets the last laugh as Jay casts his other commander, Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. Very dejected, Jay passes the turn. At the end of Jay's turn, Damien cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life and two mana for Suppression Field, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Tainted Pact. In response, Alan taps the City of Brass to help cast Swan Song, countering Pact. Damien creates a 2-2 bird, and the turn moves to Damien. Damien draws and moves to combat. He attacks Alan with Najila and a warrior. Najila triggers and he creates two more warriors tapped and attacking Alan. Alan takes the hit and still in combat, Damien activates Najila, paying for suppression field. He untaps his attackers, moves to his next combat phase and attacks Alan with Najila and three warriors. Najila triggers and he creates four more warriors tapped and attacking Alan. Alan takes the hit again and Damien ships the turn. At the end of Damien's turn, Alan casts Intuition targeting Isaac. He fetches up a Glenhorn Buccaneer, Reanimate and a Mizzix's Mastery. Isaac gives him Mizzix's Mastery and the turn moves to Alan. Alan draws and casts Mox Diamond, discarding a land. He decides to hold back with Malcolm and gives the turn to Isaac. Isaac draws and plays a Core Haven. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He sacrifices it to help cast his commander, Myrel, Shield of Argive. He ends his turn. Jay draws and plays a Morphic Pool. He passes the turn to Damien. Damien draws and moves to combat. He attacks Alan with Najila, seven warriors, and his bird. Najila triggers and he creates eight more warriors tapped in attacking Alan. Alan, not wanting to go down without a fight, blocks Najila with Malcolm. Before damage, Damien casts Snap, targeting Malcolm. In response, Isaac activates Strip Mine, paying for Suppression Field, destroying Damien's Taiga. Then Snap bounces Malcolm back to hand and Damien untaps two lands. Then Alan takes the rest and dies. Damien chips the turn to Isaac. Isaac draws and moves to combat. He attacks Damien with Myrel. Myrel triggers and Isaac creates a 1-1 soldier. Damien takes the hit and in his second main phase, Isaac casts Torpor Orb. He gives the turn to Jay. Jay draws and casts Mystic Remora. With nothing else, he passes the turn. Damien draws and casts Ignoble Hierarch. He moves to combat and attacks Isaac with 15 warriors. Najila triggers and he creates 15 more warriors tapped in attacking Isaac. Isaac blocks two and takes the rest. Damien chips the turn. Isaac draws and casts Sphere of Resistance. Remora triggers and Jay draws. He passes the turn to Jay. During his upkeep, Jay lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a City of Brass. He taps it to help cast Peer into the Abyss. Kark triggers twice, and in response, Damien casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Peer, tapping his Elves of Deep Shadow to pay for Sphere of Resistance. Peer is countered, and Jay flips for the first Kark trigger. He wins, creating a copy of Peer into the Abyss. Tavern Scoundrel triggers, and he creates two treasures. Then Jay draws half of the cards in his library and loses half of his life, rounded up. Seeing if Lightning can strike twice, he flips for the second Kark trigger, but loses. He casts Ride of Flame. Kark triggers twice, he loses the first flip, bouncing the original, wins the second flip, adding two red, and then he creates two treasures through Tavern Scoundrel. He casts Rite of Flame again. Kark triggers twice, he wins the first flip, adding two red, and creating two treasures through Scoundrel. He loses the second flip, returning the original back to his hand. He recasts Rite of Flame, and Kark triggers twice. He loses both flips, and returns Rite of Flame to his hand. He recasts Rite of Flame, and Kark triggers twice. He wins both flips, creates four treasures through Scoundrel, and adds six red. He casts Underworld Breach. He casts Veyron, Voice of Duality. He escapes Rite of Flame, triggering Kark three times. He wins all three flips, creates six treasures through Scoundrel, and adds eight red. He casts Brain Freeze, targeting Damien, triggering Kark three times. He wins all three flips, creates six treasures through Scoundrel, and Damien mills. Jay escapes Brain Freeze, targeting Damien, triggering Kark three times. He loses all three flips and returns Brain Freeze to his hand. Brain Freeze's Storm Trigger still resolves, and Damien mills again. Jay presents a loop of casting or escaping Brain Freeze, targeting himself when necessary, and milling out his opponents until they have milled their entire library. He passes, sacrificing Underworld Breach. One by one, each player attempts to draw from an empty library, loses, and Jay wins the game. What an awesome game. Let's do another pod with some new players and some new commanders. In this game, we have Cozy, piloting the partner pair of Kodama of the East Tree and Timna the Weaver. This is an Abzan mid-range deck that plans to grind advantage with the commanders and win with Acerek the Archlich or Food Chain lines. Cozy's opening hand contains the Birds of Paradise, Jeweled Lotus, Priest of Titania, Archon of Ameria, Necromancy, Dark Confidant, and a Temple Garden. Next, we have Kyle, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. This is a Saltai midrange deck that hopes to win with the Thoracal combo or another powerful win condition. His opening hand contains a Misty Rainforest, Mana Confluence, Chrome Mox, Swan Song, Dispel, Elvish Mystic, and a Grim Monolith. After that, we have Jay, piloting the partner pair of Will the Wise and Lucas the Sharpshooter with Lurus of the Dream Den as the companion. This deck is trying to get one of many combos as quickly as possible and has Lurus to rebuy the combo pieces from the graveyard. His opening hand contains a Polluted Delta, City of Brass, Mox Opal, Wheel of Fortune, Deflecting Swat, Ad Nauseam, and a Mox Diamond. Finally, we have Alan, piloting Elsha of the Infinite. This is a Turbo Jeskai deck looking to win with a quick Underworld Breach combo. 
His opening hand contains an Exotic Orchard, Chrome Mox, Swords of Plowshares, Felwar Stone, Arid Mesa, Arcane Signet, and a Prismatic Vista. Jay reveals Loris as his companion, and Cozy gets to start us off. Cozy draws and plays a Temple Garden into play untapped, paying 2 life. He casts a Birds of Paradise. He passes the turn. Kyle draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Birds of Paradise. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Dispel. He ships the turn. Jay draws and plays a City of Brass. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Polluted Delta. He casts Mox Opal. He casts Mystic Remora. He ends his turn. Alan draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts Chrome Mox. Mystic Remora triggers, and Jay draws. Chrome Mox enters, and Alan imprints Swords to Plowshares. He casts an Arcane Signet, and Jay draws from Remora again. Alan passes to Cozy. Cozy draws and casts Dark Confidant. He ships the turn. Kyle draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts Elvish Mystic. He taps Mana Confluence to help cast his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Jay pays for his Remora. He draws and plays an Emergence Zone. He passes the turn. Alan draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He ships the turn to Cozy. During Cozy's upkeep, he reveals Avacyn's Pilgrim through Dark Confidant. He draws and casts Elvish Mystic. He casts an Arbor Elf. He moves to combat and attacks Jay with Dark Confidant. Jay takes it, and Cozy passes the turn. Kyle draws and plays a Morphic Pool. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast his commander, Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. Remora triggers, and Jay draws. Kyle activates Tevish's first ability, creating two Thralls. He moves to combat and attacks Jay with Thrasios. Jay takes it, and Kyle ends his turn. During Jay's upkeep, he lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Morphic Pool. He casts his commander, Will the Wise. Will enters, each opponent loses a life, and Jay creates a clue. He taps City Brass to help cast his other commander, Lucas the Sharpshooter. Jay passes. At the end of Jay's turn, Alan casts Enlightened Tutor, fetching up a Jeweled Lotus onto the top of his library. Alan draws and casts Jeweled Lotus. He cracks Lotus to help cast his commander, Elsha of the Infinite. He plays the Prismatic Vista. He casts a Felwar Stone. Alan passes. During his upkeep, Cozy reveals Leon and Relic Order through Dark Confidant. He draws and casts Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it to help cast his commander, Kadama of the East Tree. In response, Alan cracks his Prismatic Vista, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. Then Alan looks at the top card of his library, looking for an answer. He does not find anything, and Kodama resolves. Cozy casts Sylvan Safekeeper. Kodama triggers, and Cozy puts Avacyn's Pilgrim onto the battlefield. Cozy passes. At the end of Cozy's turn, Kyle casts Brainstorm, drawing three and putting two back on top. Kyle draws and casts Grim Monolith. He activates Tevish's second ability, sacrificing a Thrall and drawing two cards. He casts Basalt Monolith. In response, Alan casts Silence from the top of his library through Elsha. Silence resolves, locking out opponents this turn. Basalt resolves, and Kyle plays a Command Tower. With nothing else to do, he passes the turn. Jay draws and plays an Ottawara, Soaring City as his land for turn. He casts Jessica's Will, choosing both modes, targeting Cozy. He adds five red and exiles Intuition, Culling the Weak, and Savine's Reclamation. He activates Lucas and sacrifices a clue to deal one damage to Kyle's Birds of Paradise. In response, Kyle floats a blue and then the birds dies. Jay casts Culling the Weak from Exile, sacrificing Lucas and adding four black. He casts Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Will the Wise. Will triggers, each opponent loses one, and Jay creates a clue. In response, Kyle activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Tainted Pact into his hand. With no other actions, Diabolic Intent resolves and Jay fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Ad Nauseam. In response, Kyle casts Tainted Pact. In response, Jay casts Pact of Negation, countering Tainted Pact. Still in response to Ad Nauseam, Kyle casts Swansong, targeting Ad Nauseam. In response, Jay taps the City of Brass to help cast Deflecting Swat, targeting Swansong. Swat resolves and changes the target of Swansong to Swat itself. Then Swansong fizzles and Ad Nauseam resolves. Jay reveals an Underworld Breach. Path to Exile, Plateau, Exotic Orchard, Badlands, Fierce Guardianship, Tainted Pact, Force of Negation, Soul Ring, Rite of Flame, Gilded Drake, Dothy Voidwalker, Arid Mesa, An Offer You Can't Refuse, Reign of Filth, Dress Down, Wooded Foothills, Dockside Extortionist, Dark Ritual, Talisman of Progress, and a Flusterstorm, deciding to stop there. He casts Reign of Filth. He sacrifices four lands and adds four black. He casts Dark Ritual, adding three more black. He casts Talisman of Progress. He casts a Soul Ring. He holds priority and taps his talisman to cast an offer you can't refuse, targeting his own soul ring. Soul ring is countered, and he creates two treasures. He casts Dockside Extortionist. Extortionist enters, and Jay creates six treasures. He casts Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, and with the trigger on the stack, Jay casts Tainted Pack from Exile, exiling his entire library. Oracle's trigger resolves, and Jay wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun set of games tonight. Congrats to Jay on both of his wins. In game one, Isaac was able to slow things down by staxing out the board, but Jay continued to play through them. Even though Clark didn't want to cooperate, Jay turned the tide by getting his dex engine online and resolving a peer into the abyss, which he rode to victory. In game two, Jay's ad nauseum needed to hit mana in order to win. Luckily for Jay, it paid off and he let Oracle and Tainted Pack do their favorite dance. 
The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Krark the Thumbless. This commander allows you to gain so much value over the course of a game. Even when the flips don't go your way, you can leverage additional triggers and add so many additional resources with this awesome little goblin. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.